Hello folks, my name is Mark. Welcome to my channel. Uh, welcome to the Lapidary Dungeon. And today we're going to be cutting up these pieces of wood, some fossil wood I found out at Hubbard Basin, Nevada. Uh, perhaps you've watched those videos. If you haven't, I suggest you go look at them. Uh, but let's cut up this wood and see what's inside. All right, so some of the uh, last wood that I'm be cutting up from the Hubbard Basin trip is here in front of us. A good sized piece that I think will have some color, some fun colors in there maybe. And I believe this piece is also like related to this bigger one. It has a very similar similar colors and I believe they came from near very near to each other uh, this one which mostly looks dark and kind of uh, maybe less interesting on the inside but I don't know and then this black piece which is I'm not even positive if this one is wood I think it's wood, or used to be wood, but it's not as obvious as some of the other pieces. So we'll cut this one up and uh, maybe figure out whether if it's wood or not. Uh, I think this one we'll just cut here on the tile saw. But this one, I think we're going to put this on the slab saw. And I wanted to start this video, you know, obviously showing you before it gets slabbed up. So let's hose them down and have a look at them wet. It's like a little branch sticking out right there. Kind of interesting. Very interesting to me. You can kind of see that branch going through there all the way to there. Now this one, it's got some little fun botryoidal pocket there. Kind of got that sandy, dirty look. Like some of that other limb cast material I was cutting up previously. And I'm not even positive I want to cut this one yet. I kind of, I'm kind of fond of its <clears throat> its nature just the way it is. And I don't know that cutting it is going to reveal anything extra special. But I'm open to uh, cutting it. And then the black piece... Pretty fractured up, I imagine, but we can cut it at least once. Kind of got a little color right in there. Cut it at least once, maybe twice, just to see what the inside looks like. And this is the good one. One of the better pieces of the trip, I think. You know, it's clearly and obviously uh, colorful fossil wood and some people would might not even want you to cut it but I think 
I think the inside might be very interesting. And so uh, I'm willing to cut it up. Probably not too good a video with it jumping around like that. All right, well, I'm going to get this one on the slab saw. And uh, before you know it, we'll be looking at slabs. The UV action on this large piece before I cut it up. It's got good reaction. Now I put the rock in the opposite direction. We'll take a few slabs off this thinner end and be left with a nice substantial chunk of the middle there when it's all said and done. After a day of cutting, on the slab saw and then uh, a short time this morning in the kitty litter and then the rest of this uh, day has been soaking in various buckets of water trying to get the oil out here is what I have slabbed from that piece of uh, colorful Hubbard Basin wood let's start with this big chunk remainder now I cut off both sides several slabs off of each side leaving me with this very thick slab i don't know it's two inches thick maybe it's pretty nice um it's, you know, a nice solid agate. There are quite a few uh, pits and crevices, natural pits and crevices. This uh, solid piece, this big chunk in the middle is, is fairly solid. I guess I can put it back in there. Fairly solid. But some of these slabs have uh, more character to them just put it that way pretty amazing
I got a lot of oil still in there. Very nice. I cut most of these at uh, about seven millimeters thick, which is a nice slab substantial you know it's not going to fall apart as easy as a thinner slab pretty bright colors Here's the uh, other end cut. Got a lot of texture. And then a pretty nice smooth surface here. Beautiful colors. Killer Hubbard Basin Fossil Wood. Really what, uh, <clears throat> that's what you're looking for when you go to Hubbard Basin. So over here we've got this one. It's got that branch running through it. Pretty interesting. I'm gonna cut this piece up and see about exposing that branch a little bit in some way. And uh, this black piece, I think we can cut that up and kind of see what's in there. Not even sure if that's wood or not, but we'll find out. And then this one, I think I'll just leave this one be for now. Put it over here on the shelf. Unmolested, along with that other uh, limb cast. And I've still got this piece of chalcedony. I want to do something with that. But uh, our pile is getting big of Hubbard Basin materials. All right, let's cut this up. First cut on this black chunk of I don't know what it is. No clue. Not, I don't think, I'm not sure if that's a, a former fossil, you know, a former uh, piece of wood or something. It could be some sort of limb cast filled in 
with different materials or it could be something entirely different. Very interesting. I think I'll just leave that one at that cut and just just admire it the way it is. All right, to this piece, we have that stem. And I think, you know, the end of the stem is kind of curled right there. And I want to cut off this corner and see what that stem cross section looks like. So that'll be my first cut. Very nice. Make another cut in that for sure. I don't know. <clears throat> that might be a tumble. All of these might be tumbles. Let that uh, round off real nice. Might be a pretty nice little lump. All right. Well, I guess that's it for this video. Um, I think next is going to be a giveaway. So stay tuned. If uh, anything that you saw here uh, excites you, you'll want to watch the next video. All right, see you next time.